We all like to have that nice summer glow, but too much sun can damage your skin and even cause skin cancer. Here with more on that is Dr. Deidre McCafferty, a family physician with Crozier Keystone Health System. Well, I remember as a, a young girl wearing baby oil and yes. really having extra reflection. Now we talk about SPF and we talk about protection. So Absolutely. let's first talk about SPF. What sure. do we need in sunscreen? So sunscreen in general should be at least an SPF of 30. That provides about 97% protection against UVA and UVB protection. So sunscreens also should be labeled as quote unquote broad spectrum, meaning having protection against both UVA and UVB protection, which is um, UVA and UVB has been proven to uh, directly linked to skin cancer. So how often do you need to reapply it? Uh, about every two hours. It should be applied approximately 20 minutes prior to going into the sun. And again, should be reapplied about every two hours, but that also depends on how much water activity you're getting and things like that. You might want to reapply more often. And, and particularly important for children. Absolutely, absolutely. Sun exposure is cumulative over time, and that's why you see skin cancers more so in um, older patients mm -hmm. because it is sun damage, sun burns, um, it all adds up over time and most people who develop skin cancer are older. So let's talk about the three different types of skin cancer. Mm -hmm. We begin with basal cell. What are mm -hmm. the characteristics of that? So basal cell is the most common skin cancer um, and it honestly it varies. There's several different subtypes of basal cell uh, carcinoma but um, one of the most common types is a, it's almost like a, a bump or a new little lesion that develops on your skin after sun, years of sun exposure. Okay, second type. Squamous cell carcinoma. Squamous cell carcinoma typically develops from a precancerous lesion called an actinic keratosis, which is a flat lesion, looks almost like a, like a scrape um, that is scaly on top and just doesn't go away. That's a big indication that either it's a precancerous lesion or it's developing into an actual skin cancer. And then melanoma, we know, is the most aggressive type of it skin is, cancer. It is, indeed. Um, not that the other forms cannot metastasize and progress, but melanoma is the most rapidly to do so. So that's the one that we're the most concerned about. Um, the A, B, C, D, and E criteria is what we look at as warning signs for skin cancer. A meaning asymmetry. So if you drew a line halfway down the skin lesion, both sides would be different. B meaning borders. They're um, irregular, uneven. Um, C meaning the color. The color varies throughout the lesion. Um, D meaning diameter. The diameter of the lesion is greater than six millimeters. Um, and then E is probably the most important out of the, the five of them because E means uh, evolution or changing lesion. Any lesion, bottom line is any lesion that's new or changing really should be evaluated by a physician. And so in the evaluation, there's mm -hmm. a device that you use. Just yes. briefly tell us about this. This is called a dermoscope. Um, any physician who does skin checks, such as a family practice, family practice physician who um, has a special interest in dermatology or dermatologists will have this device. It's, it's essentially, you can think of it as a, a lighted magnifying glass. And for example, you would look at it specific skin lesions and that will tell a physician whether or not there's uniformity in the lesion, it's benign, we can monitor it, we should biopsy it, things like that. Yeah, fascinating. All right, doctor, thank you. No problem. Thank you very much. So for more on skin health and Crozier Keystone Health System, you can go to cbsphilly.com and click on the Talk Philly. We're coming right back.